for someone who carries the strong lineage of the Man Singh II family, for someone whose father served uh, in the forces, for someone whose mother uh, went on to study in Switzerland, for someone who, like you who went on to uh, have brilliant alma mater from Delhi to the UK, uh, what is it that makes Diya Kumari sitting over, lording over huge assets, still becoming so austere and modest that she has to come to the public life and serve the society? What gives you uh, more courage to become what you are, being called as a princess or being called a BJP character? Would you any day love to sink your teeth into uh, the common uh, dinner and the lunches which the BJP has, not sitting on in your palaces and the hotels that you have? For someone who carries the strong lineage of the Man Singh II family, for someone whose father served uh, in the forces, for someone whose mother uh, went on to study in Switzerland, for someone who, like you who went on to uh, have brilliant alma mater from Delhi to the UK, uh, what is it that makes Diya Kumari sitting over, lording over huge assets, uh, uh, in running into crores, still becoming so austere and modest that she has to come to the public life and serve the society? See, my parents and my family always believed in being humble and down to earth. Even though, you know, whatever background, the background that I am from, uh, we always lived very simply. You know, never really believed in being too ostentatious and showing off and all of that. I think always were serving the people. Even my grand grandparents saw those times. And then they were always, whenever there was a problem in uh, Jaipur or around Jaipur, my grandfather used to immediately go and be there with the people. Yes. And so did my father. So whenever there were riots or problems in Jaipur, he was always there with them. Without security, without anybody. He was driving himself. Right. I've seen that. Right. And then I think those are the things that I've invited from them, learned from them. Right. And that's how I am. So um, I think, uh, and also what you're talking about, these assets. You know, all these assets also require a lot of work lot of maintenance and it's a huge responsibility. With the legacy comes responsibility. And we also have this huge heritage which we have to look after, take care of and take it forward. Now my question to you is also because of the fact that for someone like you who has been very resolute in serving the society of the I have been a political journalist and I have also covered counter-terrorism and insecurity, uh, security agencies as well. Uh, there was also a period in your life as well when you went through a lean patch where there were uh, problems uh, and acrimony uh, within the BJP as well when your properties were being uh, slapped notices with. Uh, how did you overcome those challenges to become what you are today and yet uh, tell the BJP and also the reliance which BJP has today on you, someone like you, that many in Jaipur, many in Rajasthan feel that you are a CM pro probable as well. See, I don't, I don't know about that, but yeah, problems happen in everybody's life, and I think uh, cases and all these things that you're talking about, issues, cases, all of that, uh, that happened with so many people, not just me. And the parties always stood by me. But in your case, it happened when your party wasn't. No, but then the party still stood by me, and they helped me out. So I think that was resolved at that time. And uh, now I don't want to name the person who was behind this. We, we know in certain stages who was behind this, but my question to you is that how do you overcome such things? I think this is all part and parcel of politics and I think we all take it in our stride. And uh, it's best to just move on and do our work and I concentrate on the task given to me, which was of course being an MP, being a good MP, looking after my constituency, my people, working for them, getting all their whatever they want, their demands, uh, whatever they wanted and I've been able to almost do everything that was asked of me being an MP of Raj Saman. I'm so happy about that. The Prime Minister and the central government has been very kind to me and to my people. I was also part of the Prime Minister's tour yesterday. I mean, of course, uh, we all uh, saw and witnessed the kind of enormity and the magnitude to which the scale uh, which Jaipur saw when Prime Minister Kaval K was passing by. Uh, what does it give you today? Personal gratification and sense of satisfaction that you are working with a man like him, or you are also working uh, with with someone like Vasudev Rajesh here as well. See, working with uh, Prime Minister Modi has been a great experience. I really admire him. I idolize him, and the, so does everyone who is here and the whole country, and not only the our country, the whole world. He is an icon. He works so hard. I don't know when he sleeps or when he does. He never takes a holiday. Never takes a break. He expects the same of all his member of parliament and also expect the same of the party. So what do you? So we, we I know as an MP, he was he used to meet us every Tuesday during parliament and tell us now this is what you have to do. 
this is what you have to you must do this all those tips all the guidance that he gives all the member of parliament parliamentarians uh, during the uh, parliament session is so useful and that is what we we admire that this person is so rooted he is sitting there but he still knows what's going on in the common man's mind what we should do how we should help what we should be doing what we should do for the women for the for the you know the the downtrodden for the farmers for the youth what gives you uh, more courage to become what you are being called as a princess or being called a bjp karyakarta bjp karyakarta and princess the thing is i'm very proud of my lineage of the contribution that my family has made over centuries I'm very proud of my of that but right now i'm also proud of being a member of the bjp and a karyakarta and of course being a karyakarta i i felt that i have that touched so many people's lives and and have been able to help so many people and that gives you more satisfaction than anything else can would still any day love to sink your teeth into uh, the common uh, dinner and the lunches with the bjp has not sitting on in your palaces and the hotels that you have everything is you know the hotels and palaces and others you you have to look after what you know you've been given and we've done a we also take care of all that those are also that's what i said that's our heritage and you have to take care of that but at the same time i'm very happy being with the people you know being with everyone my constituents and other people meeting them being with them helping them yeah, that gives so much more happiness and when i said gives me happiness to help somebody even that the mandate mandate is going to be landslide which the service announced service, yeah. are showing that bjp is going to get a landslide victory would you not miss the indian parliament the new parliament where you entered into uh, the new parliament building uh just within 3 years of your life of a career uh, in the second term of the modi government and now that you're going to be elected as an mla if you go on to win and probably as the chief minister as well which many say to so, parliament zyada yaad aayega ya yahan ki vidhan sabha the party jo bhi responsibility deti hai whatever responsibility is given by the party i will go along with if they have made me given me a ticket as an mla of course i have to be there to do that job they gave me mp i did that job well So that's what my focus is. And even if the party chooses someone else as the chief minister, you would love to serve as a cabinet obviously, minister. Obviously, obviously, whoever the party gives the responsibility to, whichever responsibility, we have to go along with that. What was your experience meeting Amit Shah and others when the ticket tickets were getting distributed? Did you stick to this constituency or did you seek another constituency as well? No, 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 no discussion like that. Uh, I was told over the phone that we have to fight here. Uh, that this is what we have decided, and then I went to your home. Princess of Jaipur, whose mother still enjoys the. titular uh, designation uh, in this state uh, as the raj mata i must tell you that uh, for someone who is lording over the assets or running into karos uh, this is actually one of the toughest contests for her uh, of her career and whether or not she'll go on to become the chief minister it's a matter of a question from here on for such fine news breaks and video features from ground on your mobile phones don't forget to subscribe to our channel the new indian by clicking on the bell icon also follow us on the social media handles on instagram twitter facebook and ku